So let me tell you something about people that write LARPs. They usually spend weeks, months, years even making their LARPs. I made this in about three hours. But this is my five minute LARP, which I am calling Lock, Stock, and Barrel. My friends are in an underground shelter during the apocalypse. This isn't a post-apocalyptic LARP, this is an apocalyptic LARP. Outside this door, conditions are damn near unlivable. And inside, things are about to get just about so. And there's another victim. <laughs> Move on. Is this the game? Is yes, it like Jigsaw the game. with ice? We've actually started the game already. <laughs> what are you, Jigsaw? Yeah, I'm exactly Jigsaw. Okay, so these are my test subjects. All of them are LARPers, so all of them know that this is going to be complete trash. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what you're doing this, but the LARPs the series cast and crew actually dared me to make a LARP for five people within five minutes, but I have too many friends. So, uh, <laughs> six, six people, people in. <laughs> now. Yeah. So what do you guys think this is going to be about? Everybody's gonna die. Suicide. No, that's actually that's actually my first rule: is nobody in this sacrifice in this life wants to die. So it's all about murder then. As many as possible. Honestly, okay. So I uh, if you get shot, you're dead. If you drink poison, you're dead. Uh, for all intents and purposes, you have one hit point. So if you want to punch somebody, just be like, I punch them, and I'll be like, okay, as God, <laughs> I will allow it. The pill is a vitamin D pill, so like, if you take it, you might just get healthier, if anything, but I'll tell you what happens if yes. you take it. Okay. okay. The door behind you is the exit to the shelter. It is exitable. Do we know each other? So yeah. Shot. You're all inhabitants in the shelter, so you've like grown up together, you've all lived in the shelter oh, together. Oh, we've been here oh. for a while. So okay. like, you've like all... for years? Yes, exactly. Have we ever okay. known life outside of a bunker? I'm going to say you have, you have, um, and Connor, you have distant memories. But other than that, you've all- Yay, bunker baby! <laughs> Can Kit be my child? How about you are siblings? Okay. Close. Damn it. Hey, Doug. Now we're mine. Franklin. Oh Christ. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't. Do Magdala. Hey, pick one for me. Uh, Rosie. Okay. Uh, Chet. Bethany. <laughs> Misha. Okay, Doug. Franklin. Franklin. Rosie. Chet. Chet. Bethany, Bethany, Misha. Misha. Well, Duh. people I've known for years. <laughs> Misha, <laughs> no, Misha, Rosie, Misha, Frank, Rosie, Doug, Jeff, Jeff. There is a little audio introduction. Okay. It, it's like the PA system in the shelter. Right. It's like an automated robot lady. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. None of these cups. Oh, what? That says red cup. None of these are red. It's pink, but red sounds scarier. I'm sorry. Hey, I know, but it's hey, which, which is, which is no, a shade of red. I've never it's seen you without that. Thank you for choosing Lock, Shock, and Barrel Emergency Shelters. We hope you are enjoying your time in our state-of-the-art facility. Here is your daily status check. Inhabitants, six. Emergency status. Temperatures outside have reached dangerously high levels. Status. Evacuation not recommended. 20% <coughs> chance of survival. <coughs> Tonight's suggested film playing in the theater is Never Say Never, The Justin Bieber Story. Kill Don't me forget, now. <laughs> we have the entire archive of movies, TV shows, games, and other forms of entertainment from 1930 to 2016. Stock. Food. Perfect. Recommended recipe of the day is French onion soup with marinated chicken. This can be found in the recipe section in the library. Water level, perfect. Heat, perfect. Air conditioning, perfect. Electricity, perfect. Oxygen. Yeah. It's been too many times. And that needs improvement. I regret to inform you, oxygen levels are dropping at a significant rate. I feel like I'm the type of person. Current maximum inhabitants. Six. You've known me for years. Rates of decreasing oxygen levels. Yes. Every one minute, the maximum inhabitant status will drop by one inhabitant. If one inhabitant is not evacuated or eliminated every minute, all six inhabitants will run out of air. This is just 
not your day, is it? She well, doesn't fuck you. Now, <laughs> care about you. So we improvise. No, she may aid you in eliminating your fellow inhabitants. Some liquid courage, you'll need it. A red cup filled with poison, a yellow cup filled with a sleeping trap, and blue cups filled with plain old water. <coughs> a gun, classic. A blindfold, an iPod with a state-of-the-art recording device, camera, and tons of tunes. A pad of paper, a pen, a pill, and a plate of delicious chocolate chip cookies. Good luck. And we I don't have the pen. You can't shoot me. I don't have the pen. Run the sound begins now. Yeah. Get off me! Hey, 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 hey! Get off me! Guys. Look, Chet! Look, Chet! I don't have the rounds! Okay, we gotta figure out who's got the rounds got. first. Stress level. Because uh, I was going to grab the rounds, I'll be honest. Yeah, okay, we gotta figure this one out. Please enjoy. Where? <sighs> Who has the rounds? Fuck you! Three. She has Seven. to go. Shut up! Oh, Someone sorry. shut that thing up! The vo it's the voice, okay. We need. Figure out where the fil <sighs> They said there's enough oxygen, one of us is gonna die off a day. No, one of us is gonna die off a minute. A minute? Five a minute. Seconds until maximum inhabitants become. Alright, we gotta we gotta knock somebody off. Somebody has to go. Why? No somebody has to go, or else did you not just hear what it said? It doesn't matter then! He's big. He's five big minutes! Yeah, yeah, what if you don't just get rid of him? If it's everyone, sound like you, isn't it? If everyone dies every minute, then no one survives. Okay, we all die. You wanna die? We're all dead. So there's a 20% chance of surviving outside. We're not killing anyone. If anything happens, they're going outside. At least they have that chance instead of dying in a frigid bunk. So everyone starts suffocating at this point, by the way. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> one of us is gonna. One of us is gonna need to go outside. If one of them does, they're gonna need water. <coughs> and they're gonna dry out really fast. Pretty strong. She hurt. said blue. Look, the voice said blue is good, right? Blue is good. Blue is good. Ten seconds until maximum inhabitants become four. Who drank the red? I poured the red into the blue. So, you just got it. Sorry, Okay, that buys us a minute. We've got to figure out who's going out. You're still all suffocating. You poured the red into the blue. You guys would have been the you guys would have seen if I tried to take them all. Screw this. Maybe. I'm gonna smash her with the butt of the barrel. Done. <laughs> hey! Hey, 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 hey! Okay, we gotta at least talk this one out. Because if we don't, we're just gonna all end up murdering each other. We're gonna die anyways. You're <laughs> so killed. Yeah. So you're gonna hey. just start hey, bashing hey. people Wake close up. to death in your last minute? Somebody has to do it. Wake up! You think it makes you any better than me? You just killed the guy. I. Did that to buy us a You minute. just hit my sister! We gotta find... We gotta find the filtration what? system. We gotta... It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's not... It's okay, not uh, what was Still all suffocating. It's not bleeding that bad. You, uh... You're okay. You're okay. No, she's what dead. What was his name? The, uh... Franklin, the guy you just got killed! Not Franklin. <laughs> the engineer. The, uh... Come on! Greg. You guys are all like dying, you're suffocating so much. <laughs> Greg. Oh, God damn it. Either, either people start leaving or somebody start. <coughs> Take my chances out here. Who's got, oh, who's got the rounds? Have fun.
Chris, and you've got the rounds. If you drink this, you could take up less oxygen. We could both live. Drink what? The sleeping things. You think? Ten seconds until maximum inhabitants become one. I put the pill in there? Uh, he's blind. <laughs> Current maximum inhabitants. One. Oxygen levels have resumed normality. Yeah, but he's gonna wake up soon. Just went down. I was so close. <laughs> my legs are shaking. I was a chump. I got poisoned. My sister was pistol whipped to death. <laughs> and then you. Um, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> So that Morgan gets usable footage, let's yes. go around, um, say a little bit about your character and what happened to you. I was Misha, her little sister. Well, I was preoccupied being diabolical and stealing all the reference sheets for what was poison and what was not. I got pistol whipped to death. I was Bethany, I was Misha's big sister. I wanted to make this work peacefully, and while I was focusing on that, my sister got pistol whipped to death. <laughs> and uh, they took their chances in the waste. Yeah. I played Chet. Uh, I was the one who did the pistol whipping. <laughs> I was Rosie. I won. <laughs> I snagged the mystery pill and the rounds while he snagged the gun. I shoved the rounds in my shirt because that seemed like the smartest thing to do at the time. It's like some cornucopia shit. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the pill was vitamin D. It is. Well, I, yeah, that's like, what it actually is. <laughs> oh, out of game. Yeah, out of game, <laughs> vitamin D. In -game. I was like, oh, in game we have vitamin D. That's good. We're not gonna get a lot of sunlight in here. <laughs> we're gonna die, but we're gonna be 1% happier about it. <laughs> it was Franklin the sacrificial lamb. I pushed everyone to murder everyone. Yay! Thanks, Franklin. I was Doug. I had an idea for a character that I had was like this complete balance of total apathetic logic versus like illogical optimism. After I did the one guy, I was like, okay, I don't want. I didn't want to kill Chip. Chip was a cool guy. He's he's Chet. I'm Franklin. <laughs> Franklin. Liar! I killed. Franklin. You never even knew my name. <laughs> I killed Franklin, but uh, you know, like I, I like Franklin. Would be remembered. But like specifically for in Doug's in Doug's perfect world. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. That was really fun. That was really fun. I did good. I would love to play it if we had like half an hour. Yeah. An hour. Yeah. I feel like but now. also I feel like five minutes is like Connor was like, let's find the filtration place, let's find the filtration system. If you had it half an hour, somebody'd be like, yeah, okay, and I'd be like, didn't plan for that. <laughs> if it's five minutes, everyone's like, no, there's no time. We have to kill each other. Kind yeah, of I think that, to the urgency. That, that, that added to like this specific scenario. I think yeah. you wrote a really good scenario for the five minutes. So called no one even great. Drank gin. Hey, oh no, I drank the gin. gin. This so called <laughs> right great now, right AI now. system. <laughs> this vault has kept us alive for years and years and years, and they're like, oh, by, oh, the, way, by the way, yeah, we're all gonna die of oxygen deprivation <laughs> in like. Five or six minutes? <laughs> but you have to wonder. God damn it, Vault were Tech! We, were we actually running out of oxygen? Or was it an experiment? Whoa! Oh, thing. Oh, yeah, now we're getting fucking bullshit. You murdered me, Vault Tech! Yeah, this yeah, is Vault Tech shit. shit. Moa said at the beginning that none of us wanted to sacrifice ourselves. We all wanted to survive. I immediately took that as we didn't want to leave the vault. Once the game started, and it was clear that everyone in here was like viciously willing to fight for their own survival, 
and the voice on the radio said, we have a 20% chance of survival outside, a couple of us were like, you know what? 20% actually sounds better than what we're right now. What was that movie you know? we watched? Never. Circle? The Circle. Totally inspired by that circle. Have you guys seen The Circle? I don't know. Such a good This kind of reminded me of the Nordic LARP limbo that I played once. You're a bunch of people, you're essentially in purgatory, you've died but you haven't moved on yet, and there's a, kind of a spirit of death that comes in with different cards that say where you're going, it could be hell, it could be heaven, could be somewhere in between, could be a bunch of different religious places. And you can trade cards between people to find your character's place that they want to be. And slowly over time, you know, people start leaving. They start going to their place. And at the end of the game, one person is left in limbo. When I played before, that was my character. Now, the character I played, she'd had the perfect life. A lot of other people were like, I killed myself, I was murdered but I'm glad to be out of there. My character was like, no, she just got a new job. She was engaged to her fiance and everything was perfect. And in the end, it was her and a girl who had committed suicide. And the girl had the purgatory card, which is basically like you atone for your sins. Mm -hmm. She told my character, like, you take this, you move on. And I told her, no, you feel bad for what you did. I just want to wait for my lover. Right here. Until he dies. That's so cute. So, one by one, people walked out of this room. It was an entirely, like, dark room. The lights were slowly going off as the game progressed. One by one, people filed out, and I was just standing there in the darkness, and I sobbed. And it was cathartic, and it was sad, <laughs> and it's an amazing game. If we can find that many people, I'd be happy to run it. I yes, please. It. Can this just be, like... The LARP house. Of the game. I'd love to run like crazy Nordic LARPs in here. We're gonna watch me on film. You? I mean, not just, just you. You be pasty motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one. Like, this is where you guys all like scramble for the stuff. Yeah, honestly, I should have grabbed something else besides the gym. Yeah. So like, I grabbed the gym. You grabbed the gym. Liquid, liquid courage. That sounds. That sounds appropriate. You took it quite literally. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Shoving shit in my shirt. <laughs> that was super subtle, though. Even on camera, that was super subtle. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't notice it, and I was filming. I saw it because I was. I was like paying attention to where the rounds were. Yeah. Because like, if I had gotten the rounds, I would have shot three people in the head. Yeah, I'm kind of. I almost didn't separate the bullets from the gun, I almost just let them in and I'm really glad I didn't. Because I was looking at the table, I was like, what's the most dangerous thing on this table? <laughs> I was like, what's the most dangerous thing on this table? Who's the most dangerous person in this room? Yeah, I grabbed the gun, so... And then I like straight up like murdered And Chet. you were being really aggressive, so I was like, let's get rid of Chet. <laughs> I, so, that was I so, so good. Sorry, like, yeah, I seriously, you did such a good job with that. Yeah. Grab the other one for my yeah. sister. <laughs> I didn't. Well, what, see, the thing is, once you grabbed the one off the table, and I forget who else grabbed the one off the table. I was like, it was her. Yeah. No, she grabbed both of them. She grabbed the one. She grabbed one. She grabbed one to her and she grabbed one to me. Makes sense. So, you just but sorry, Chet. No, you call them Chet there them too. Chet. You them I'm Chet East Franklin. Franklin. We've known each other for years. God man. damn it, dog. I thought that was like a catchphrase of the whole life. Just like, no, I'm Franklin. We've known each other for years. This like, play went 10 million times better than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna have like a million flaws, and I thought it was just gonna be a mess. I thought, so, well, I thought one person was gonna kill all five people in the first two seconds. I think, I think it's largely because you chose the right people. Yeah. Sure. You underestimated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, seriously, like, we, we are all, like, great big LARP pain sluts, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. like, good LARP sluts. Yeah, you did a good job. Yeah. Good LARP. Thank you. Like, did you just say we're good LARP sluts? You're good LARP sluts. <laughs> like, it's true. Good. Everybody was like, let's get painful. <laughs> this was so intense. <laughs> Perfect. Like, like stylistically, that's perfect. Yeah. Oh, you sneaky Because <laughs> it was perfect Where timing. Because I hear the ten seconds. I'm like, I have, I can't so think going. about it. <laughs> well, thanks for doing this for me, guys. By the way. No worries. Yeah, no, that, was, that was super fun. Yeah. Cool. I'm like, I'm considering putting it up as like a separate video. Right. Oh,